Hi everybody and welcome to this introduction to JavaScript. As you're watching the video, don't forget to stay focused, pay attention and don't be afraid to try out the things that you see in the videos. Let's get started. Hi everybody, so today we're going to have a look at how to get data from the user and store that data in a variable. Then we can start to process that data using um, JavaScript. Okay, so first of all, let's just do a very quick review of variables. In JavaScript, when we want to use a new variable, we have to use the keyword var. So for example, var my age. I could just do that. All I'm doing is telling JavaScript, hey, JavaScript, I'm going to be using this thing, and it's a variable. So just be ready for me to use that. That's all. That's all we're doing. This is known as declaring a variable. Okay. Then, in my computer program, I can start to use that variable. So, for example, my age equals 16. And maybe today is my birthday, so now my age is 17. Or another way of doing that is saying my age is the current value of my age, which is 16. That's 16 at the moment. Then we're going to add 1. So that's 16 plus 1. Then we assign that to be the new value stored in this variable. Okay, so that's another way to do it. I might want to declare another variable called my age. So let's just declare it because we're using it for the first time. Sorry, my name. And then I might want to assign some data to it. I could do it on that first line, actually. That's fine. That also works. And then later, when I'm 18 years old, I decide I don't want to be called Jason anymore. So I go through all of the official channels to change my name. So I'm just going to do that right now. I'm going to use the variable. I've already declared it. I don't need to use var again. JavaScript already knows that this is a variable. I already said it here. So that's fine. So now I'm going to use that variable. I say, okay, I don't want to be called Jason anymore. I want to be called Jace. That's my new name. Okay. So this, this is kind of an introduction to variables in JavaScript. Now, wouldn't it be great if we could declare some variables in JavaScript and then store data in those variables from the user, right? So this is, let me show you what I mean. I'm going to declare a variable called my name. And now I'm going to say my name equals prompt. We're going to use a JavaScript function called prompt. And this is how it works. What is your name? Look at all that syntax. We've got some brackets. We've got some quotation marks. We have a colon at the end, a semicolon. So make sure when you're typing out your JavaScript that you're not missing any of these important parts of JavaScript syntax. Okay. But anyway, um, this is the prompt function. And inside it, we can put a guiding question. For example, what is your name? So let's see how this works. So, we've come into the JavaScript. This variable has been created. That's fine. That's happened. Now we're here. We're at this little bit of code here. The prompt box has opened. What is your name? So that's the prompt. So if I type in here, Mr. Moosey, and do OK, when I press OK, that data is going to be assigned to that variable, right? So if I do OK, <laughs> yeah, OK. So how do I know that that worked? Ba-ding! Let's use console log. 
let's just go to the console log and have a look at what my name is storing after this code runs. Okay, so we get something from the user, assign it to a variable, and then go and have a look at the variable just to make sure that everything worked like we thought it would. So let's save that. Before I refresh, I'm going to open my console log. Control Shift J. Now let's refresh. What is your name? Now I'm going to press OK. So the data will be assigned to the variable and then we'll display the contents of the variable in the console. Yes, it worked, Mr. Moosey. OK. So I'm just going to create another variable, var my age. And then I'm going to assign some data to that variable. Let's use prompt again. How old are you? OK. So we've created a couple of variables to store some data. And now we're going to assign some data to the variables. And let's do another console log for my age. In fact, let's, let's just practice making a sentence. So, my name is my name and I am my age years old. OK, so it's always good to practice how to make a sentence, guys. It can be a bit complicated. You just need to practice it and it gets a little bit easier. My name is Bling Bling. And I am Bling Bling. Years old. OK, so let's save that and refresh the page. Let's just check the what's happening as we go through this. Bing. What is your name? So we're here. We're here now. So let's type in a name. Oh, how old are you? So we're, we're now here. We came down to this line of code here. How old are you? My name is Mr. Moosey and I am 47 years old. So, wow, I got data from the user and I've put it into my JavaScript. So I'm starting to create an interactive program. Now check this out, guys. Today is my birthday. <laughs> so let's just put that in. Console.log. Happy birthday. Now let's update my age. So we've we've got something from the user, but today is the birthday, so we're going to update my age. My age equals my age plus one. Okay, so it's my birthday. And let's just do console.log my age, just to see what's going on. So we'll have a look and see what's going on. Okay, so let's save that and let's refresh the browser. What is your name? How old are you? Whoa! I'm 47, it's my birthday, and now I'm 471? What? That cannot be true. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you what's happening here. When I enter Mr. Moosey, as my name, JavaScript sees this as text. This is text. When I enter 47 as my age, JavaScript also sees this as text. It doesn't know that this is a number. So, how old are you? I'm assigning some text to my age. So that's what this is going to look like. 
It's text. And I don't want it to be text. I want that. I want JavaScript to understand that that is a number. Okay? So when we do this prompt, I get text from the user. So what I need to do for my age is update it to be a number. I need to convert it. So I'm going to use a JavaScript function called parseInt. And what parseInt does is it converts text to be a number. So let's do parseInt my age. So this thing here, at the moment, it's text. This converts it to be a number, and this assigns it back to the original variable. So it's now storing a number. Okay, so now we can do maths with it, because it's a number. We can do maths. So this is a very useful piece of JavaScript. Let's see if it works. Save and refresh. What is your name? Mr. Moosey. So that's this bit here. What is your name? I'm going to assign that to... How old are you? 47. So that's this here. This is text. And this text is going to be assigned to this variable. Then I'm going to convert it to be an integer and reassign it back to the original variable. So we'll do OK. Happy birthday, 48. So that is how to convert text to be a number. And this is how to get information from the user and assign it to a variable which we've already declared in JavaScript. <laughs>